I got a wonderful message on my Facebook about a brave little man called Aaron. Two years ago, he had a bone marrow transplant. He's had complications which require him to live a rather isolated life until he gets a new immune system. But Aaron's developed a passion for cooking and he's only four years old. He watches my carbonara video 10 times a day and loves it. His mom said this passion makes him smile and she believes it's contributed to his healing. So Aaron, this video is for you. To make the bolognese sauce, cut the tomatoes into quarters, add olive oil to a baking sheet, add the tomatoes, followed by a pinch of salt and sugar. Now place in a 375 degree oven for 40 minutes. To make the sofrito, add carrots, celery and onion to a blender and pulse. Let's have a look. Nice. And by pulsing the veg, it creates more flavour to the ragu. Next, add olive oil to a hot pan. Add the meat and cook until caramelised and golden brown. Also, try not to stir the meat. When golden brown and caramelised, take out, strain the fat and put to one side. And just make sure you get rid of all that fat. When the tomatoes are cooked, take out and leave to cool. In the same pan, add the sofrito, followed by a pinch of salt, and cook 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, add sun-dried tomatoes and garlic to a blender and pulse. Add to the pan and cook 5 minutes. When the tomatoes are cool, take off the skin. Add tomatoes to the pan, followed by the beef, and stir well. Next, add water. Now bring up to a boil and reduce until thick. Look at that, the water's reduced. It's nice and thick, and that's how you want it. At the end, add milk and a bundle of herbs. Here, I'm using oregano and parsley. Stir and season to taste. This bolognese would go great with fettuccine, spaghetti, or pappardelle. Here, I'm using fettuccine. Aaron, this one's for you. So there you have it, Aaron. That's my fettuccine bolognese and get your mum to make it. 